Let the peace, love, and blessings of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. The concept of love. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth, Leader Olumba Olumba Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, Hebrews chapter 13 verses 1 to 3. Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. Remember them that are in bonds as bound with them, and them which suffer adversity as having yourselves also in the body. Second lesson, James chapter 2 verses 14 to 17. What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he hath faith and have not works? Can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doth it profit? Even so, faith, if it art not works, is dead, being alone. Golden text, First John chapter 4, verses 20 21. If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God love his brother also. Brethren, quote, Brethren, beloved, the gospel to be imparted to you has been predestined even before the foundation of the world. It is a pathetic situation to hear people attribute their predicaments to witches, wizards, necromancers, mermaids, ghosts and apparitions. I want to let you know that these things do not exist at all. Beloved, our predicament in the entire world today is due to lack of love. Right from the era of Adam, man has had no love for himself, not to mention others. I want to let you realize that this is the problem of the entire world. Beloved, without love for one another, all your acts are deceitful. Be thou a bishop, a church goer, whatever. No man chat here. You are attached to yourself. Without love, you are deceiving yourself. You are empty and void. I have proven all these situations and you have seen that mankind has no love. Not even an iota of love to express to one another. When you claim you have love, why then? Can you not express this love to your very closest brethren? You claim to love God when you cannot love your fellow human being. It is a misconception because if you do not love your fellow men, you cannot love God. There is nothing that has set the world ablaze other than lack of love amongst its inhabitants. That is what has kept the world in such a terrible state. Even individually, we do not have love for ourselves. Do you love yourself? If individually you do not express love to your children, your husband, your wife, how then will you claim to, have to love God? That is why day by day I preach nothing other than love to you because with love you are saved. To love man 
is to love God. God is love. Love is peace. Love is truth. It is the gospel blessing, everlasting word of life amongst other virtues. Therefore, be not deceived by anybody or your very self that you can exhibit love when you lack love for your own self. There is no sign of recognition of God in you when you go about killing, beheading, and enslaving fellow human beings. You have been told that if you love God and hate your sisters and brothers, you are a liar. That is why I have come with these teachings on the concept of love to impart to the entire world and to everybody that they must embrace love and express love to one another. By expressing love to one another, you will come to realize that God is love, God is mercy, and all the good virtues we can think of. When people come pulling your leg that you are worshipping man, what does that mean? When you worship man, you are expressing love love to that man and by so doing you are equally worshiping god if you cannot love a fellow man it means that your claims are meaningless they do not hold water in as much as you cannot love your fellow man you cannot love god therefore when you say that you are worshiping the true god and fail to show love to your fellow man you have failed in your mission. Some people may embark on fasting for about a week, but fail to express love to one another. Of what use is your fasting? When you offer serious prayer without love, it cannot meet the target. Whether you continue rendering melodious tunes for one week, Without expressing love to your fellow human beings, your tunes will avail you nothing. When you preach the word of God from morning till night without expressing an iota of love, it avails nothing. Beloved, you may have given vision to all and sundry, but without love, it amounts to nothing. If you decide to inherit so many children without love the inheritance is of no use when you keep on shouting jesus jesus i want to let you know that it does not avail you anything until you can express love beloved you all are living witnesses of what i am talking about if there were to be love between the Roman Catholic and the Protestants, there would have been no problems. However, since they fail to love, they fight each other. Millions were killed because of lack of love. Another example is about the Christians and the Muslims. There is no iota of love among them. You realize that the whole world put together are just going about with the Bible for nothing. It is of no benefit to them. Rather, you have now, now allowed deceit to engulf the earth. And this deceit does not yield us anything good. That is the problem plaguing many church denominations today. You will find out that after preachment, the teacher will echo a slogan, Do as I say and not as I do. This slogan has caused serious misconceptions amongst men. Beloved, it is stated that you should owe nobody anything other than loving such a person for whoever loves another has fulfilled the promise of God. All the commandments that say you should not steal, you should not kill, 
and the rest is based on one main root, which is love. That is why our Lord Jesus Christ commanded us to love one another as he loved us. That is why we are enjoined to abide by the injunctions of God. It is the commandment of God that we should express love to one another. Therefore, when you come here testifying of having hated and backbitten, it shows that you lack love. This love has been expatiated on and it has been a regular anthem by the BM and EN Evi Choir. The Father in them has been rendering these songs to show us that it is more important to express love to one another. If all of you understand what they have been singing, you will realize that love is an important factor to exhibit and is above all commandments of God. Brethren, let our first lesson be reread. First lesson, Hebrews chapter 13 verses 1 to 3. Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Remember them that are in bonds, as bound with them, and them which suffer adversity, as being yourself also in the body. Brethren, you have heard what has been read out to you. Our text has stated clearly to us that brotherly love should prevail and the question is, where is the brotherly love? Moreover, you have been enjoined that you should not fail to entertain strangers. Where is the love for strangers? Not to mention the love amongst ourselves, the brotherly love. The Bible portion has it that we should remember them that are in bonds as bound with them and them which suffer adversity as being yourself also in the body that is exactly what you have been enjoined to do but the reverse is the case with you there are so many brethren who are down and in adverse conditions and in bonds it is your responsibility to come to the aid of these brethren but because you do not have love, this brotherly love, you cannot exhibit it. And as such, you contravene God's commandment. Right from the beginning of this week, how many times have you been to see those in the prison yard, those who are in bond, and them which suffer adversity? Let us look at the choral group. If a brother or a sister in that same choir does not show up for two consecutive times or more, nobody cares to go and find out exactly what has befallen such brethren. Then where is the love being talked about? It is our all responsibility to demonstrate love to our fellow brethren a situation where a fellow brother is sick say in the battle and nobody cares to go and see him is unbecoming and contrary to God's injunction because it does not portray the qualities of love as we have been enjoined to practice that is why I have told you that you have no problem other than loving one another because the spirit of love has been on the plane since 1918. Our brother Paul has also told us about the importance of love as stated in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 1 to 3. He says, Though I speak with the tongues of men, and of angels and of not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. 
And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profit me nothing. Brethren, if you observe most critically, you will notice that the paramount thing for us to exhibit is to love one another. The BM and the EM Evi Choir, as I have earlier told you, centers all its anthems on love. This is so because they have realized that the greatest of all commandments is love. Love is the wire of life. With love amongst us, ills like gossiping, jealousy, and backbiting will be eliminated and our predicaments will erase, will cease also. It is a misconception for one to attribute his misfortune to witchcraft, armor, maid, and so on. What has brought about ill luck is lack of love. When once you can exhibit love in all its ramifications, you will realize that we are all one and in the Lord, and above all, your predicament will cease. When you went to exhibit, when you want to exhibit love, it has to be in its fullest dimension. Love is patient and kind. It is neither jealous nor boastful. Love does not rejoice in wrong, but in the right. Love never fails and it endures forever. How come that you claim to exhibit love are found wanting these qualities? Are you then sure you are on the right track? Where is the love you brag about? Search through the governments, the associations, the, de the denominations, the families, countries, and states, and see whether you will find any iota of love. I am not telling you tales, but these are real daily observations. It is very hard for one to wake up and be at peace with, with his fellow man. You find some sulking with others, are furious, while others are furious, they soon burst out with anger when they are greeted in the process of expressing love to them, brethren, taking all the qualities of love into consideration, you can see that it is a state of perfection when you are able to live up to such expectations, you will see how perfect you will be. You will see that quarreling when one comes to exchange pleasantries with you is bad. The concept of love as it that love tells no lies and does no evil to his neighbor and is not pompous. Do not shun people for it shows that you do not have love. When people approach you, do not lend deaf ears to them. Rather, listen and appreciate their feelings and assist and assist as much as you can when you continue ignoring people it means that there is no love within you man's ingratitude over god's work beloved despite god's work to humanity none has ever praised him nobody has been able to commend god's work 
Rather, people are still complaining of witchcraft, attributing their predicament to ghosts, to wizards, mermaids, and so on. It is high time you refrain from your misconception about your predicaments and sought the Spirit of God. Pray to the Father to give you the Spirit of love and it shall be accorded you. Without love, you are empty and of no use. People have found, people have formed the habit of self-recognition. They claim to be the only cock of, they claim to be the only cock to crow. What has given birth to this is lack of love. But as soon as we are in the fold and acquire this divine love, everything will be streamlined. It is not my intention to compel you or coerce you to, to coerce you for what for wherever you, you may be, you shall answer the call. I am telling you these things through what I have seen here in this fold. Many are still in the habit of ignoring fellow brethren. At times, their behavior portrays some kind of feud and misunderstanding. Whenever they are greeted, they answer half-heartedly and will not even stop to exchange pleasantries to the fullest. This is simply because there is no love among them. The qualities and concepts of love are lacking in each and every member. I have tried my very best and the ball is in your court and it is now left for you to play. Love is not money, clothing or any mundane thing of this world. Love is God. Love is peace, it is mercy and truth, it embraces everything, even the way you look at a fellow human being with, with lovely eye portrays love. If you give all you have to the needy without love, it is nothing. Even if you deliver your body to be burnt but have not love, it avails you nothing. Love is nothing other than the virtues associated with it. Therefore, when you have this love, you will shun segregation and will not hate your fellow human being. Beloved, love is priceless. It is not sold in the market. It is godly and can only come from him. The fruit of love is peace, mercy, righteousness, perfection, and all the godly virtues. That is why the scripture has clearly told you that no matter the stress and strain you may decide to put yourself through, without love it avails you nothing. When our Lord Jesus Christ came on earth, he built no house for anybody. Neither did he buy a car, neither he buy clothes, nor any of these mundane things for anybody. He used love to entertain all and sundry, and everyone was able to testify of his love unto them. You can see then for yourself that love is God and God is love. Whenever love penetrates, there is peace and joy. If love penetrates your heart, you will have peace of mind and joy that will never depart. However, when you are lacking in love, no matter how rich you are, you are empty. Brethren, remember Nicodemus, a friend of our Lord Jesus, who went to him at night and inquired what he should do to enter into the kingdom of God. And in reply, our Lord Jesus Christ answered and said, Except a man be born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Ignorantly, Nicodemus came up 
with another question by asking how he could be born again when he was old already? In reply, our Lord Jesus Christ answered and said, If you are not born of water and of spirit, you cannot enter into the kingdom of God. As you are here in this kingdom, what, I, what do I give you to sustain your membership? It is not shoes, nor clothes, nor any of these mundane things. Once you come in here, instantly you see the glory of God. Money has not effected any change in you. That is worth mentioning. All of you have seen that the betterment of your life and the success are as a result of loving one another. You may even sit back and ponder over your success in life. It emanates from love. Therefore, in a situation where you frown at your fellow brethren and lend deaf ears to their problem, it means you have no love. If you give away all that you can give but have not love, it is meaningless. Love is the watchdog here in this kingdom. In as much as love is not sold to you but freely bestowed, you have to demonstrate it wholeheartedly by so doing all your sicknesses, your problems, your predicaments shall be taken away. Let our second lesson be read again.